Welcome back. Big story, of course, right now is what we talked about yesterday. The threat of thunderstorms firing overnight into this morning. There's the upper level low, which has continued to nudge itself slightly south and slightly closer to the Oregon coast. It is the trigger for the thunderstorm activity that we're seeing. We have rain in scattered areas out east here in the valley and at the coast. So overall, it's fairly widespread. Now, this is the radar. I grabbed an image at 1249 overnight. So between 1230 and 1 a.m. last night, we had th this cluster of storms move through. So maybe if you heard something last night, this is what you heard. And there were some embedded, especially on the west side, some decent rain showers with this thunder and lightning area that moved through. So that was again back at 1247 a.m. Here we are real time right now. Everything coming up from south to north. Big cluster of storms has been hitting the coast, although you folks are starting to calm down right now with the main action being this batch of storms that's lining up on the uh, west side of I-5. So Corvallis, good morning. Albany, you've had some thunder and lightning in the area. Let's move you up to the north through wine country. There's McMinnville, Amity. You have thunder and lightning in the area. We've got thunder and lightning in the coast range out on the uh, just west of the North Plains area and west of Hillsboro. Again, this action is moving south to north. So currently downtown Portland is quiet. Everything I just showed you on the radar is expected to fizzle and or move north out of our area through mid morning. So here we are at 9 a.m. I think this is correct that by nine in the morning will be pretty much dry and quiet here on the west side, but a continuing threat of scattered showers out east. Now later today, Futurecast doesn't show much, but Futurecast, remember, did not do well. It did not. It did not show the thunderstorm clusters that we're getting currently. So I believe 5 p.m. today, any of these white spots, these are cumulus clouds, will have the possibility of turning into a spotty thunderstorm. That's later today in this evening, so keep an eye on that. All right, here are the temperatures, and they are warm for this time of the morning. 78 right now out at the airport in Portland, 71 in Salem, 57 in Newport, 68 degrees out in the Dallas. Some of our uh, live cameras have caught some of that lightning. This is the Wells Fargo camera looking to the east, so we're not seeing any lightning in this area right now. 78 degrees is the temperature. Here are the numbers for later today. And again, with that spotty storm chance redeveloping potentially, 90s up and down I-5, 60s, 70s at the coast, mainly 80s out across the east. And as you look at the seven day, 92 today, a dry day tomorrow, 95, a spotty storm chance late day Sunday. Three days of potential rain showers, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week would be fantastic. Hood to Coast Relay Runners will have a live report coming up uh, in the next hour, but uh, they are watching the weather closely, I am sure. We'll be back in just a moment.